Hey guys, what's up? Today we got another service integral of a scalar function and we want to integrate the function square root of 1 plus x squared plus y squared ds where s is the helicoid r of u v equals u cosine v i hat plus u sine v j hat plus v k hat. u ranges from 0 to 1, v ranges from 0 to pi over 2. Now it's not necessary for us to visualize um, this helicoid because we're already given the parameterization. Literally all we have to do is take the cross product, take the magnitude, um, subst substitute everything into the integral, and we're good to go. But I mean it's fun to visualize the surface. So this is actually like a spiral ramp that is slowly increasing because the z value is actually the angle. So as the angle increases, the z value increases. And this is a ramp of radius 1. So it's pretty cool. Um, let's try to find the solution to this surface integral. And we've already got our vector function for our parameterization. So let's just go ahead and take ru cross rv. So what is r sub u? r sub u is going to be cosine v, comma sine v, comma 0. So that's derivative with respect to u. r sub v is going to be derivative with respect to v, so that's negative u sine u, sine v, sorry, sine v, um, positive u cosine v, and 1. Now ru cross rv is going to be the cross product of these. All right, so that cross product is going to be cover up the i hat, so this is i, j, and k. Cover up the i hat, that's going to be sine v, uh, cover up the j, it's going to be negative cosine v. And then cover up the k, that's going to be u cosine squared plus u sine squared. So that's going to be u cosine squared v plus u sine squared v. And really that can just be reduced to u in the third component. So this is really just the vector sine v comma negative cosine v comma u. And now we need the magnitude of this vector. So ru cross rv magnitude because we're doing a scalar function. So I take the magnitude of this vector. So that is going to be the square root of sine squared v plus cosine squared v plus u squared. So I can actually use a trig identity that sine squared plus cosine is sine squared plus cosine squared is 1, so this is square root of 1 plus u squared. So this is 1 plus u squared. And this is the Jacobian that I'm going to multiply into my surface integral and multiply onto this integrand. So my integrand, so just note that our integrand, square root of 1 plus x squared plus y squared is equal to the square root of 1 plus, well what is x? x is up here, u cosine v, so 1 plus u squared cosine squared v plus y squared, which is u squared sine squared v, which is the square root of Let's see, again, I can factor out a u squared. Sine squared plus cosine squared is 1, so this is 1 plus u squared. So my integral was actually going to turn out to be square root of 1 plus u squared, but I multiply it again by 1 plus u squared, take the square root. So let's see what happens when we try to integrate this. All right, so setting up our integral, we're going to have the integral from 0 to pi over 2, integral 0 to 1, and square root of... 1 plus u squared, that's our integrand. And then I have to multiply by that cross product magnitude, so 1 plus u squared again. And then du dv. So this second one is magnitude of r u cross r v. So now that's actually pretty nice because those square roots uh, make it turn out okay. So this is going to be 0 to pi over 2 times integral from 0 to 1, 1 plus u squared du dv. So actually this integral 
is going to be pretty easy. So it's going to be pi over 2 times u plus u cubed over 3 from 0 to 1. So I can do the v integral, get the pi over 2. I can do the u integral, and this is going to be pi over 2 times 1 plus 1 third, which is 4 thirds. So 4 thirds times pi over 2 is going to be 2 pi over 3. And that is our surface integral. And that's how we do it.